Are you interested in some fabulous powders that are wonderful for mature skin but won't break your pocketbook? I got you guys covered in today's dupes video. Hi friends, I am so excited to be bringing you this dupes video filled with powders. Pressed powders, loose powders, some setting powders, some finishing powders that you are going to be able to find at the drugstore that rival high end. So we're going to get into five dupes that I have found through the years. I'm kind of condensing past videos and bringing that to you guys. So I hope that you do enjoy this. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. We are going to get into these dupes right now. And the first one is the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder, the Translucent. This is a beautiful beautiful powder for anybody to be able to sit their makeup. If you're an oily skin gal, this is even better for that. But it's so micro fine milled that it really feels like just a gorgeous soft powder. And it just feels very light and very airy. And it's been a cult classic for years and years. But I did find a dupe on the internet. Yes, not this one wasn't my discovery. This is from Maybelline Fit Me and this is their loose finishing powder and I have Fair Light. Now I do find that the Fair Light is a pretty close match for the Laura Mercier, but what's the consistency of the powder is beautiful. I really, really have enjoyed this powder. It is super finely milled. It is uber creamy and it is one of those ones that I can use, especially on warmer days, even though I am a dry skin gal. So that is our first dupe between those two. The second one is the Charlotte Tilbury Classic Airbrushed Flawless Finish Powder. This powder is absolutely gorgeous. It is a powder that just about any woman can wear. Even if you are dry skinned, you're going to be able to wear it. It's just so pretty. It is silky and it just glides across the skin so beautifully. I love this powder. However, it is really, really expensive for just this small amount. It's $45. But I did come across a dupe that I found of my own, which is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion. Uh, perfecting finish powder. This one is in porcelain. It's the lightest color that they have. And I do feel that this is a dupe for it. It is so soft and so creamy and so blurring when you use it on your skin. I just love this one. I have talked about this one before in my videos, and I think that it definitely rivals the Charlotte Tilbury. But I also was told by you guys to check out the number seven Lift and Luminate. And I believe Jessica Braun talked about this one being a dupe for that um, Charlotte Tilbury as well. I do feel like it is so special in that it does have just that little bit of a reflective property to it. I even think it's a little bit above what the Charlotte Tilbury is in its consistency and how pretty it is across the skin. It's so light and so airy. And I think it's one that personally I think is a little bit better than this. But if you do want just a straight on dupe, I would say the Flower Beauty is the straight on dupe for it. All right, so that's number two. Number three is from It Cosmetics. This is the Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. This has been so many people's ride or die for a long time and with good reason. This really does blur your pores out. It just has a consistency of being super light, super airy. And if you're an oily skin gal, you will love this powder because it doesn't cake up. It You can put it on and touch up during the day and you're going to look absolutely beautiful with it. It does have a little brush underneath here. It does have in the compact, compact a mirror. I really like the packaging on this. However, I do feel that the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder is an absolute dupe for it. This is a super soft powder. Again, you get the puff underneath. You get the same packaging on it. I pretty much think that they were trying to dupe the Bye Bye Pores. And I think that they came across and did really good. So you're not going to have to spend that high price tag. I will say on this HD powder that I'm not 100% sure if there's flashback or not. I know that a lot of us don't use flash photography very much anymore, but it might be there. So I'm just going to kind of put that out there. I haven't noticed it myself when I've taken pictures or anything like that. 
but it could be there because it is a little bit more on the white side whereas the it one yes it is on on the white side but it is a little bit more along the lines of almost an ivory color so the consistency is perfect the color isn't spot on however i do feel like once you blur it out on your face it's just exactly the same powder and i love both of them all right one of the powders that became a cult classic really quickly was the hourglass veil loose setting powder this is a gorgeous gorgeous powder you can see that it is a little bit on the yellow side it is a beautiful powder for blurring out your pores again it just is one that feels so light and so airy on the skin and it's not going to cake up on you either it does have just a little bit of a luminosity to it not one that you would notice as a glow per se but the finishing product is just beautiful so if you're somebody that reaches for a loose setting powder and then you get on your skin and you feel like you're very flat this might really work for you and there's a specific ingredient in here that gives it that tiny bit of a candlelight glow or a luminosity to it but I also found that this product from Sydney Grace which is their cloud nine setting powders this one is the exact and when I got this and then I was feeling it and I was going what does this feel like when I first found it and I was like this feels exactly like the hourglass and I went and got it and what the ingredient is is instead of talc we're talking about mica mica is the other powder they use it lots of times in different eyeshadows but in this powder it gives that subtle luminosity that nice just little teeny tiny bit of a glow which you can't even see on my hand or anything like that but the finely milled property that the hourglass has and how absolutely gorgeous this is on the skin is just next level now i will say that this particular one right here is light and then i got this one right here which is fair and fair to me from sydney grace is just like a translucent one it's kind of just a white on there the hourglass one doesn't come in colors so you're going to get several different colors with the sydney grace one but that is an absolute dupe from sydney grace and such a fraction of the price i just think that that just cannot be beat all right for my very last one comes from Hourglass again. Hourglass is one of those companies, they know how to do powders really well, especially if you're a mature woman, you're gonna find that their powders are just gorgeous. So I'm showing you this whole entire palette from last year because these two palette, these two colors right here are their ambient setting powders. Now these do have a subtle luminosity in them. They have a very fine texture to them. You can set your under eyes with them lightly and they are not going to show up texture or any crinkling or anything that makes your under eyes look older or drier than they already are. It is a beautiful powder. And because of that ambient um, effect to it or that candlelight effect to it, these are absolutely beautiful. Got the sniffles, somebody does. <laughs> These are gorgeous for an aging woman. These powders are just, you stick your finger in here and you're like, these are so soft, they're so gorgeous, and they just really are beautiful on the skin. But I have found that the Milani Prep Set and Glow from several from years ago is every bit as good. I mean, you cannot tell the difference once you get it on your skin. You really can't. It still has that finely milled property that's not going to make you look super cakey, but it has that light reflect reflecting quality that the ambient setting powders do too. And it is phenomenal as far as being a dupe for that. So if you've been one that's been wanting to try these ambient setting powders from Hourglass, you definitely should try this from Milani. It is so good as far as a dupe that I honestly cannot tell the difference except for the price tag. And obviously the price tag is quite a bit different because it's so hefty on the hourglass side. So that is it for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy this. Do you enjoy seeing dupes from me? I love bringing them to you guys. They're so much fun for me able to to be able to save you money and to be able to bring you these that really are every bit as good as high end at the drugstore. So please give this video a thumbs up on your way out of here. Do you have a dupe for a powder that you go to over and over again that you really like? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear that from you. I hope everyone will stay healthy, stay happy, stay safe, stay sanitized, and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye guys.